Hello and welcome to our virtual open house. I'm Ms. Helseth and I will be teaching your student in orchestra this year. I currently direct all of the orchestras at Shorewood High School and also the 7th and 8th grade orchestra classes at Einstein Middle School. This is my fourth year in the Shoreline School District and I've been teaching orchestra for 25 years. I know that last year was a real adventure in home learning that we will not soon forget and it forced all of us to reimagine how to do orchestra. There's nothing like the joy that comes from making music together in person, and our students missed out on that for a very long time. I'm thrilled to be back in person this year, and my mantra has, is and has always been to teach the students that are in front of me and meet them where they are. We have a lot to be thankful for at Shorewood. Both the symphony and the chamber ensemble are appropriately sized and well-balanced, and they are sounding great. We are getting ready to prepare our first concert performance in video form to share with you in a few weeks, and we hope to be able to perform for you live in December along with the freshman orchestra. The concert orchestra, our freshman group, is the first grade level that really missed out on having the orchestra experience in, per in person during the formative middle school years. These students haven't had orchestra together since seventh grade, and that wasn't even a full year. Unfortunately, due to some scheduling issues and the frustrations caused by remote learning at that level, we did lose a number of students from the orchestra that probably would have continued if we'd been in school. If your student is in this group, I am thrilled that they stuck with it. We are working together to create a warm and welcoming learning environment while we work on the skills that were difficult to learn over Zoom and we're in, we are readjusting to playing together in person rather than individually with a computer. There are a few students in the concert orchestra that are just starting their orchestra journey. And it's been exciting to see some of our more experienced freshmen stepping up into a leadership roles to mentor the students that are just learning to play a string instrument for the first time. For our newcomers, we welcome them to the orchestra family. I applaud their courage and I am looking forward to celebrating their musical growth throughout the year. Things will be moving at a quick pace for these students, so I encourage them to be patient with themselves and set reasonable goals. With consistent home practice, they will progress quickly. In orchestra, students are graded primarily on their participation in class and in performances, with occasional assignments to submit to Canvas, including journal entries and video assessments. If a student misses one or two days of class, it's nothing to worry about, and there's no need to make up for those absences. If they will be absent for a more extended period, or if they must miss a concert, they can complete extra credit projects to make up the points. To earn extra credit in orchestra, students can attend a live performance, or watch a broadcast concert or feature-length documentary or docudrama about a musician, and write a one-page paper reflecting on the experience and what they, what they learned. This can be done at any time. My hope is that students are motivated by a desire to learn, improve, and contribute, and not by the grade. Grades should not be a source of stress for orchestra students, and any setbacks can easily be remedied by completing an alternate task. parents are wondering how they can support their orchestra student in their learning. The most important thing is to make sure they have a properly set up instrument that is appropriate for their skill level. High school is when many students upgrade to a step up instrument. Rental instruments from the local music store are durable and suitable for beginning students that are uh, learning the basic skills, but when students reach a certain level of skill and maturity, Investing in an intermediate instrument and bow from a violin shop will really help them make the most out of their music experience. Step-up instruments are actually easier to play, and they produce a much better sound, which will lead to greater satisfaction, both for the player and for the listener. If you are ready to start looking for your student's next instrument, please contact me and I will help you understand the process, which is one of the most exciting steps in a child's musical journey. To keep your student's instrument working and sounding its best, please maintain it by replacing the strings and rehearing or replacing the bow when needed. Again, feel free to reach out to me if you would like advice or recommendations on instrument maintenance. 
Of course, we do have some families that are unable to acquire an instrument of their own at this time, in which case we encourage students to rent a school instrument. We are always looking to add to our supply of school instruments, so we welcome donations of gently used instruments as well as financial contributions to support the cost of maintaining and refurbishing the instruments in our fleet. For students that are motivated to take their playing to the next level, taking private lessons will help them to make the most out of their practice time and will accelerate their progress. I have posted a list of private instructors on our Canvas pages in the Welcome module. The Shoreline School District has a long history of supporting its music programs by investing in state-of-the-art classrooms and performance facilities. We look forward to welcoming you to a concert in our beautiful theater soon. We are also looking forward to taking trips as an orchestra again. When that time comes, we will need parent chaperones. If you are interested in chaperoning on a field trip in the future, please reach out and I will let you know how to complete the background check, which needs to be done well in advance. In anticipation of future learning activities away from school, we will be holding our annual Citrus fundraiser again this fall. The orchestra will be taking orders for boxes of oranges and grapefruit in November, which will be delivered in early December. Please consider contributing to the orchestra by purchasing some delicious citrus fruit for the holiday season. Thank you for supporting your students' music education and feel free to reach out by email if you have any questions. I hope to see you at a concert soon.